Hello student, my name is Hridesh and you are watching my channel, Your Classroom at Home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skill, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. In previous lecture, student, I have discussed an important topic related to set, that is the laws of algebra of sets. Under the head of this topic, I have covered some important laws, idempotent laws, identity law, commutative law. And in today's lecture, I am going to discuss associative law under the head of the same topic. Now I am going to discuss associative laws. A intersection B is equals to A intersection B intersection C. Let's try to understand it with example. Let's set A contain first three natural numbers. Set B contain three, four, five, and six. Let C contain one, eight, nine element. A intersection B means 1, 2, 3 intersection B set B is 3, 4, 5, 6 element. We will get here 3 is common. Therefore, A intersection B is 3. Now, take intersection with C. A intersection B, that is set containing element 3. Set C is 189. It means there is no common element, so we get the result 5. In similar manner, B intersection C will equal to B is here 3, 4, 5, 6. Intersection C contain 1, 8, 9. Intersection means there is no common element between B and C. That's why we will get empty set. Now take intersection B intersection C with A. Means A is first three natural number. Intersection B intersection C is empty set. What is common? There is no element common. So we get empty set. This is result 1. And the result second is also get empty set. From 1 and 2 we conclude that A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection B intersection C. Now I am going to discuss associative law for union. A union B set associates with set C that will be equals to set A union B union C let A contain first three natural number 1, 2, 3 B contain 3, 4, 5 and 6 C contain 1, 8, 9 A union B means C 
and B is here. 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3 is common. So, 3 can be written in one time. 4, 5, 6. Now, combine this set with set C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 union. Set C contain 1, 8 and 9. Thus, we will get a set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 9. This is the result for A union B union C. This result can further be obtained from this side. First of all, find B union C. B is here 3, 4, 5, 6. And set C contain 1, 8, 9. Now combine these two sets 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 8, 9. Now, A union, B union, C, A, set A is first three natural number, 1, 2, 3, union, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 8, and 9. If we combine these sets, we will get 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. This is our second result. This is our first result. A union B union C contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. A union B union C contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. It means the result 1 and 2 are same. Therefore, we conclude that A union B associated with union C is equal to A union B union C. So, student, in today's lecture, we have discussed associated law under the head of the laws of algebra of sets. So, keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.